Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Uh, first off, I'd like to start by saying thank you for everyone's patience in the last few weeks uh, and the lack of videos that we had. Uh, essentially, we went from doing two videos a week to only doing one, and the one video that we had per week uh, was provided by our deck tech guru, uh, JJ, aka MTG Strategist. Uh, without him, you guys wouldn't have had anything to look at in the channel, so uh, quick shout out to JJ. Thank you very much, and uh, we're actually going to be seeing a lot more of him on here because um, I'm liking his deck techs, I'm liking what he does, so... Uh, yeah, so we're going to be seeing more of him, but anyways, thank you for being patient uh, while I sorted out my uh, my health issues. Um, another thing I want to hit on real quick before we jump into our Pack to Power Cure um, is the Magic the Gathering comics. Um, we did a bit on it uh, last month talking about the new Magic the Gathering comics that are being put out by IDW. Uh, those are still happening, uh, but the date I gave you was slightly incorrect. Uh, the date that I had pulled off of the publisher's website uh, was November 4th. Uh, it's actually looking like November 24th is the day that they will be available on the shelves. Uh, so if you haven't pre-ordered and you want to, you've still got a couple weeks to do that, uh, but just Generally, most comic stores uh, place their order uh, at least three weeks in advance, if not more, uh, for comic books. So you may want to jump on that right now if you want to pre-order and you think your local store might not have those particular comics in stock, which they really should, especially if they have a magic crowd at all. So, anywho, uh, we're going to jump on over to uh, our Pack to Power Cure. Uh, for any of you who do not know what Pack to Power is, it is where you start off with a single pack of Magic the Gathering trading cards. You open it up and then you trade whatever is in that pack uh, for anything that anyone is willing to trade as long as every trade is slightly in your favor and you keep trading up and the object is to be able to trade that one pack into one of the power nine uh, now we're not doing quite exactly that uh, we have set a goal to reach a thousand dollars worth of cards at the end of the a year and then at the end of that year all of the cards that we've accumulated through this process uh, are going to be auctioned off and all the proceeds are going to be going to the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. Um, and it has been met swimmingly. Um, I apologize, last month we did not have an update. We had uh, our Pack to Power Cure video slotted for the last week of October, and that is when my health uh, issues started up. Uh, so that video got scrapped. So we didn't get to that. Um, and one quick thing I'd like to point out um, before we get any further, um, because of the nature of what we're doing, um, there have been a few people that have been more than generous in their trades. Um, and uh, we've highlighted a few of those people um in previous videos. Um, now, the person I want to talk about now, and I apologize for getting you this information so late because they actually made this trade quite some time ago, but like I said, we had uh, last month's video slotted and it just didn't happen. So, anyways, Eric Williamson, um, quick shout out to him. Thank you so much for the trade that you sent. So, essentially, what Eric got was he received a copy of Fetid Pools, uh, Our Force of Will, uh, a Sarkon's Unsealing and Escape Shift. Those were the cards that uh, he received. Now, I am going to read you off the list of what he sent us um, in trade. Um, so we had a 7th edition Stormcrow foil. Um, I will let you guys know that I immediately traded the binder for that particular card. Um, normally, I would not trade... Uh, with this pack to power thing, mainly to keep the integrity, um, but I ravenously collect foil storm crows. So I'm just putting that out there. 
that card was gone the moment it was opened. Um, anyways, we got a Plane Shift Meddling Mage. Uh, a Doran the Siege Tower from Lorwyn, that was foil. Uh, a Windswept Heath from Count of Tarkir, Liliana Death's Majesty, a Birthing Pod, a uh, Luxury Suite, Bountiful Promenade, Academy Ruins, uh, the Time Spiral 1, Root Sliver that was foil from Legions, uh, Namata, Grove Guardian uh, from Plane Shift, I think I pronounced that wrong, but anyways, a Mox Amber from Dominaria, uh, <laughs> a full set of Unstable Full Art Lands, um, and the uh, island number 287 from Lorwyn in foil. Um, and for those of you that aren't familiar with that particular island, I'll put a picture up here in the corner here so you can see um, this particular one is actually a sought-after island just because it is beautiful. Um, and in foil, it's just absolutely gorgeous to begin with. So, um, and... But that's not it. That's not all we got out of this. He also sent us a Fumigate, a Settle of Wreckage, a Foil Benelish Marshal, uh, a Tempest Jin, a uh, Kef Kefnet, the Mindful Padim Council of uh, Innovation. That was Foil as well. Living End, Yogmoth's Vile Offering, Underworld Connections. That was a Foil as well. <laughs> um, a Dragon Master Outcast, Thundermaw Hellkite, Otvara Halkite, that was foil. Hour of Promise, uh, Multani Yavamaya's Avatar, Grothma All Devouring, foil as well. A uh, Mantis Rider, Heron's Grace Champion, Dragon Master, Broodmother, foil. Um, a Howling Mine, and I believe that was revised, revised or fourth, I, I'm drawing a blank on it right off the uh, top of my head, but, uh, a Metallic Mimic, Mimic, a Forebear's Blade, uh, the pre-release promo foil, a Mishra's Factory, Sea of the Clouds, Goblin Burrows foil, holy cats. I mean, I, I think we got our, our value worth, um... Now, um, starting right now, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, in our previous video, I've put up, um, like a, a still shot, if you will, um, of all of the cards that we have. Uh, I can't do that now because, um, of all the trades, I mean, from Eric here, that's quite a few, but I've made quite a few trades myself, um, uh, at my local game store uh, and some people online um, we are currently at uh, what are we at uh, 125 cards uh, so that list is pretty long um, and I just I want to thank everyone that's participated uh, and and contributed uh, mostly above and beyond uh, mainly because of the cause of what it's going to um, but it is just, it has been a tremendous, um, like I said, we did set a goal of a thousand dollars, uh, total value to reach by the end of the year. And we've still got like six months, I think to go, if not more, um, and a thousand dollars, that was a lofty goal for me. Um, I thought it was somewhat unrealistic, but I mean, if you're going to set a goal, set it high and do your best to reach it. Um, what we are currently at is much more than I thought we would be. Um, and I'm sure this list is still probably going, oh, other side, um, is still probably going. I mean, that's how many cards we have. And you can see we've got some solid stuff in here. Um, and then don't forget, we do have, we keep track of this uh, down in the description. There is going to be a link to our uh, deck box that is going to show all the cards that we currently have in the binder i'm gonna do my best to keep it updated uh i know there was a while there that it wasn't updated but once again that was due to the health stuff and just got behind so uh but anyways um our grand total of what we are sitting at now i actually just accidentally clicked off it so i lost the price but anyways um we now keep in mind we started off with one pack of Magic the Gathering cards. We did have, uh, I believe it was a Chromium in it. So we got a Mythic Rare that at the time was worth, I want to say, like seven bucks. So we had a good start to begin with. But anywho, uh, the market value 
and this is going off of um, uh, deckbox.org. According to our deck box, the market value of our Pack to Power Cure binder right now is four hundred and fifty-four dollars and fifty cents. That is that's almost halfway there to our thousand dollar goal. And I just I could not be happier. You guys, this is awesome. Um Round of applause for all you guys, for everyone that's participated in this, uh, and for those of you, uh, the, there's a lot of you that have expressed interest over this last couple weeks, um, feel free to shoot us an email, uh, let us know what you're looking for, and as long as it isn't already spoken for, then uh, we'll gladly uh, work out a trade with you. Um, so yeah, just, this has been absolutely amazing. Um, I am going to cut this video a little bit short. Um, Oh, oh, one more thing I do want to go over. Um, because we did miss our last couple videos of, uh, of live opening and giving stuff away, um, we are going to be doing uh, a video sometime probably the next week or so of some extra pack giveaways just kind of make up for that time that I was down. So uh, don't fret, that hasn't gone away. We haven't forgotten about that. We're going to get you some packs uh, randomly to be opened. Uh, and once again, it's going to be for you know whoever commented on this video or one of the videos from the last uh, however many uh, I essentially missed uh, is what we're going to do there. So anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. If you liked what you saw here today, do us a huge favor. Click that like button, hit subscribe, be sure to hit that bell notification button so you can tell we come up with new episodes, and then share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and as always, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, Chuck Wagon. MTG. Now, if you do this one last favor and check out this brief message from the best gaming store in Michigan. Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.